Divi and Elementor are two of the most popular page builders for WordPress websites, especially for those that have little to no experience in building a website with WordPress, as both these page builders allow complete beginners to simply create website pages with an easy to use visual builder and without needing to know any code. Hey guys, Stuart here, welcome back. I hope you're all having a great week. Now in this video, I'm gonna break down and compare Divi versus Elementor with a focus on helping you choose the right page builder for your WordPress website. And at the end of this video, I will share my personal recommendation based on my preferred page builder. Okay, now before we launch into these page builders, consider subscribing if you haven't done so already or if you're new to this channel, and that way you'll stay updated with actionable videos and tutorials designed to equip you with the skills, knowledge, and tools to grow your small business online. And with that quick note, let's go ahead and break down and compare Divi vs Elementor in 2021. <music> Okay, so to get us started, we want to compare the visual building experience and the ease of use. Now, both Divi and Elementor use a visual drag and drop builder, meaning rather than building your website pages or posts in your WordPress backend, you can simply enable the visual builder and customize your website pages or posts from the front end. Divi uses a powerful visual builder that has essentially no limits on your creative freedom to design each element of your page the way that you like. Basically, once you enable the visual builder, you can hover over each section, row, or element and click the plus icon. This will generate, for example, a new row. And here we can choose the style and number of rows that we like. Then we can add elements into our rows. I could add any of these elements if I like, then to simply edit each of these elements in our rows or edit each of the rows or sections, just click the gear icon. And this will open up a settings box that has all the design and style settings that you have the freedom to play around with. I will link a complete Divi Builder tutorial above that will dive deeper into how you can make the most of Divi's Visual Builder. Now on the other hand we have Elementor, Elementor's Visual Builder which is more like a simple block builder. With Elementor you can drag element blocks from the area on the left hand side and place these on your page. Then all your settings and editing options are available on the left hand side. Personally, I believe Divi provides more freedom to customize. However, Elementor is less tedious and easier to navigate through all the available settings, especially for beginners. Next, we want to discuss website templates that you can use to build your website. Both Divi and Elementor have full professional website packs and page layouts that you can simply upload to your website and customize the way that you like. Elementor offers over 200 free and paid templates that you can use and customize the way that you like. On the other hand, we have Divi and they offer Divi users more than 1600 professional layouts, which is a lot more than Elementor. And Divi also releases a new layout each week, which is pretty awesome keeping the layouts fresh. And these layouts are extremely easy to use and customize. So for us, Divi stands out for providing an abundance of impressive pre-made layouts. And layouts are important for beginners because it gives them a professional blueprint that they can learn from before creating a website page from scratch. Following this, I'm sure you're eager to find out is the price comparison between Divi and Elementor. First up, we have Elementor, which offers an impressive free version, which is ideal for complete beginners just getting started on their web design journey. Then if you want to get more out of Elementor, they offer five paid plans that vary hugely based on the number of websites that you want to use Elementor on. Then we have Divi's pricing. Divi keeps it simple and offers two plans, a yearly access for $89 or lifetime access for a one-time payment of $249. 
We love this because there's no limit on the amount of websites you can use Divi for and you only need to make one affordable investment rather than paying each year which can add up over time. Unfortunately on the downside for Divi is they do not offer a free plan like Elementor. However both Divi and Elementor offer a 30 day money back guarantee on all plans. We have the links below in our description below the video if you're ready to get started with either Divi or Elementor. Okay, so with all that covered, my recommendation and personal preference for beginners would have to be the Divi page builder using the Divi theme. Yes, they do not provide a free version like Elementor, but it's a better long-term investment and solution once you get your head around all the amazing features, modules, and customization options. You can essentially create anything. And remember, with Divi, you have access to a multitude of themes that you can get started with. However, I would on the other hand recommend the free Elementor page builder for beginners that are not looking to push their design skills long term and are just wanting to quickly and easily build their WordPress website. Also, if you like, you can actually experiment with both these page builders. Both offer a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you can trial each page builder and compare and identify which of the page builders will work best for you based on your goals and personal preferences. And there we have it, that is it for today's comparative guide. Now if you have any questions about Divi or Elementor, make sure to pop them down below. And with that said, thank you so much for watching this tutorial all the way through to the end. If you got value, make sure you leave a like below this video and subscribe to this channel and that way I'll see you in the next video. Take care guys.